Hello everyone. Good day to all. Verbs are words which express action, existence or condition. In this video, I am discussing about simple future tense. The future continuous tense and future perfect tense. The first one, the simple future tense. It is used for an action that has still to take place or to describe an action which is yet to happen in the future. For example, I shall see him tomorrow. I shall go to Mumbai tonight. Tomorrow will be Sunday. Beautiful flowers will grow in the fields during springtime, which will happen in future. Bees will make sweet honey in spring. Note, the simple future tense generally expresses pure or colorless future when the future is colored with intention. The going to plus infinitive construction is preferred. For example, he is going to build a new house. So we use the simple future tense to express an action that is going to take place in near future. It is used to refer to general statement about the future. When will you be free to show me your painting? The future can be indicated in following words. By using the model auxiliaries for positive statement, the verb form is will, shall, plus present tense. We shall play in the park. They will reach here by tomorrow. I shall finish this lesson by tomorrow. Note the negative statement. Verb form is will, shall, plus not, plus main verb. We shall not play in the park. For question it is auxiliary verb, subject, main verb. Shall we play in the park? Just like tomorrow, next week, next month, this Saturday are often used with verbs in future tense. Let me explain with a timeline. I shall help you with your work is promise to help. Now the next one, future continuous tense. The future continuous tense represents an action as going on at, at some time in future time. In simple words, the future continuous refers to an action that is expected to continue for some time in the future. It is formed in this way, will be plus verb ing, ing verbs. I shall be reading the paper then, shall be reading, future continuous tense. When I get home, my children will be playing, will be playing is future continuous tense. We shall be moving to our new house on Saturday shall be moving. Observe the timeline. I will be studying from 8 to 10 in the evening. Observe that the future continuous tense, the above sentence refers to the action of studying that is scheduled to take place at a specific time in future and will continue for a definite time. The future continuous tense is also used for future events that are planned. For example, I will be staying here till Sunday. The future continuous tense is used to denote a definite action in future. My brother will be joining his office tomorrow. The future continuous tense is used to refer to a longer ongoing future action interrupted by another shorter future action. For example, Fatima will be sleeping when I reach home. Will be sleeping is future continuous tense and when I reach home is a shorter future action. When I get back, they will be having dinner. The third one, future perfect tense. The future perfect tense is used to indicate the completion of an action by certain future time. So it describes an action that will be completed at a given point of time in future. For example, I shall have written my exercise 
by that time shall have written future perfect tense before you go to see him he will have left the place will have left his future perfect tense the verb form for future perfect tense is will or shall plus have plus we verb positive it is we shall have left by evening we shall not have left by evening is negative shall we have left by evening is question thank you this is padma have a great day